sir. Notes from the underground. Hello, welcome to the Underground. This is the podcast where we talk about the world and how crazy and weird and messed up it is. I'm your host, Duncan Michael McPherson. Today, I want to talk about something. Okay, first, full disclosure, I've had a lot of technical difficulties lately, and that's why I haven't recorded a podcast, because I've recorded this at least four times already, and it just doesn't want to be recorded. So I'm going to try one more time, and then I'm going to give up. Um, so I wanted to talk about... Um, Somebody who's on Joe Rogan, which seems like a lifetime ago now, but I've been working on this for like a month. Um, Alex Berninson, I think is how you say his last name, uh, made a wild accusation, a wild claim on Joe Rogan. He said that um, the vaccines cause you to get COVID. And so I wanted to look into this more and see uh, why he's saying it and um, if it's true and fact check it. So... um, he showed the data, and this is his argument. So if you can see my screen, uh, this is the data from the government of uh, the UK government. Um, and you can see that 40 and above, the rate among vaccinated with two doses per 100,000 is higher than the rate among persons not vaccinated per 100,000. Now, just I want to just remind everybody, this is a rate. This is a rate per 100,000. This is like a percentage. It doesn't matter how many people are in this study or whatever because it's a rate. And I've heard the arguments debunking this, claiming that that makes a difference. It doesn't. This is a rate. It doesn't matter how many people you, you take. This is the thing. So um, one of the fact-checking websites... Uh, had this to say. So I want to go to our next slide, or our next uh, tab here. The Joe Rogan podcast misused English COVID-19 data. They say that this claim that he says that uh, you're more likely to catch COVID if you get vaccinated is not true based on misreading the PHE data. Okay, that's, you're saying he's wrong 100%. It's not true. Okay, well, you need to back that up. Now, one of their arguments is that, you know, vaccinated people are probably more likely to go out because they feel safe and uh, because they're vaccinated. That's a legitimate um, thing, but most of the unvaccinated people I know aren't afraid of COVID and aren't afraid of going out. So I don't think, I think that's a too, too speculative of an argument to really hold water, especially when the numbers are this, you know, significantly different. So their other argument is basically that they use the wrong data. So let me read here. This is the first uh, thing proving that why Mr. Bernson was wrong. Um, The first is that we don't know how many vaccinated people there are. For this, we would need to know the actual populations of each age group in England and then subtract the vaccinated people from them. Now, I don't like this argument, and I'll tell you exactly why. This isn't fair. Because if I made that argument that the government got the data wrong, you would say you would throw that argument out. That would not be a legitimate argument from coming from this side where you're saying that vaccine mandates are a bad idea. So you can't just say that the government data is wrong. That doesn't make any sense. We we if we don't trust the government data, we have nothing. And I've heard people on my side of this argument say the same thing. They've said, though, the government's lying about things or uh, the VARES system isn't, you know, really great. But this is the data we have to work with, and we have to work with the data that we have. So what they're going to say in this, and they go into great detail in a previous article, uh, which took me down a rabbit hole. Basically, there's uh, NIMS data, N-I-M-S, and there's ONS data. And there are two different data sets that have two different populations for England. I don't know. I want to go into the math and the numbers in the next podcast, but I don't think this is a fair argument. I just want to say that from the get-go. That's not a fair argument, and this needs to be explained. Because if we go back to these numbers, if the rate is higher among vaccinated people, that does suggest that not that not necessarily that the vaccine causes COVID, and I don't believe it causes COVID, but I, I believe that it impacts your immune system. And so you might be more likely to catch COVID 
because your immune system is weakened from the vaccine. So that's a real possibility that I think needs a real explanation, and that's not what this is. So in the next podcast, I'll go into detail of how these numbers make a difference and why I think this is a bullshit argument is what I think it is. So that's all for today, and I'll see you on part two of this podcast. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks for listening to The Underground. Um, Please like and subscribe and uh, share this with your friends. Um, I really like and enjoy doing this, so please share it with people who might also appreciate it.